dear viewers this is that the video for covering which is the pv wind wind which is that the wind driven pmg system which can be used here so this point wind driven pmg system battery and grid connector power sharing control is to be implemented in this video okay so now we are going to see this is the uh, uh, dc grid point this is the dc grid point that is the battery positive and negative terminal which is connected to that the uh, output of the pmsg output of the pmsg which is connected to that the rectifier and then connected to the dc bus okay so this is that the pv output connected in that to the dc bus again this is the inverter session that is that the dc bus which can be given and then feed into the ac so simply we are going to see the basic operation of each and individual system right uh, right so this is that the battery a battery which is connected to that to the dc bus through the bidirectional converter so this is one uh, upper switch so this is a lower switch again that the inductor with the internal resistance and this is that the uh, ripple free for purpose we are going to counter one uh, filtering capacitor filtering capacitor right again the switch is fired by the this is the dc to dc pwm generator again that is the not gate which is connected to this lower switch next directly connected in the upper switch okay so this is normal conventional pid controller we are utilizing again that is the uh, the reference value we are obtained from that the uh, the overall control the overall control which is available here so that is the back control so this is the pv inputs that is the number of the inputs which is given to that the control program this is the control program for the entire system this is the control program this is the file which is uh, control overall the power sharing operation of the uh, this circuit okay so again uh, 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 we are going to give that the proper reference to this pid controller the output of the pid controller which can be controls the uh, current flow from the battery and to the battery which means charging and discharging condition of the battery here that is the due to pulsating current we need the uh, uh, that is the regular constant dc value for that purpose that is the mean value we are going to take into account again we have taken us that the output for the soc state of charge and the current and the voltage right okay so now the another thing that is the wind driven pmg system so this is the wind power generation wind turbine which is available in the matlab again we are going to wait 8 to 12 meters per second uh, that is the wind speed again these are all that the per unit conversion block uh, that is the torque control blocks which can be implemented that the here this is the value we are going to obtain from the feedback loop okay again we have implemented here that is this is the pmsg act as a pmsg the output of the stator current is measured and the dc voltage will also measured here again that is the electromagnetic torque and the rotor speed is measured by using the scope again it may be uh, uh, converted into that the dc because the pmsg generate the variable uh, uh, ac voltage to dc voltage variable ac frequency voltage because this wind turbine which can be variable so speed so during the speed variation uh, it can be changes the output uh, uh, frequency of the oc voltage and the magnitude also changes so these uh, uh that is the two loads are which can be the compensation circuit which is connected because uh, both the current source if we are going to connect it in series matla will also arise the problem to avoid this problem we are introduce one high value resistance we are introduce one high value resistance in this 
part. So the next thing we have this variable AC converted into that the DC. Again, this is the DC to DC converter here we are going to implement. Here it's also a simple PID controller which is implemented. This is simple buck converter. This is simple buck converter is that that is a L and the internal value of R and the ripple tree for that the uh, capacitor. Again, this is the feedback that is the diode. Again, this is that the switch which is connected, integrated into the system. Again, that mean value of the current which is taken into account and then given to PID controller. This PID controller which may go into regulate the output voltage. Okay, so the reference value I wind and that is the wind uh, uh, PV and the wind value we are going to obtain from the uh, respective places. Okay by using this control uh, uh, pro, uh, that is the program again this is the pv so this is that the photovoltaic array which is available in the matlab library again this is that uh, uh, the uh, program this is the program for that the maximum power point tracking maximum power point tracking so in the p and o method that is the part of and observe method program which can be used here so that is the program here used for that the uh, p and o method so again that is that the we are connected one buck converter we have going to obtain the uh, suitable value of the maximum power again the mean value of the voltage uh, this is that the voltage that is the voltage block which is connected again current block here connected both are connected and then multiplied that is the power value is obtained here so the next point we are going to consider the ac grid okay so this is that the ac grid uh, this is the normal uh, 230 volt ac uh, rms voltage based to 50 hertz system which is uh, connected through that the isolation transformer again it may be connected to this uh, inverter yes so this is a L and C filter, LC filter is used, this is the feedback, that is a feedback that is a damping resistance, this is that the uh, damping resistance here uh, uh, you are replacing for uh, avoid the frequency of the higher oscillation. So this is the PWM generation circuit which is available in the MATLAB. Again, the input of the PWM circuit which is derived from that the uh, sine mathematical function, sine wave mathematical function and sine function, uh, uh, the suitable values is obtained from that the control programs. If the control program, if you are going to control all the power flow control values. So this is the power flow. Uh, we are going to identify whether the power flow uh, from this side, grid to source side or source to grid side we will see on later right okay so already we are uh, run the program and see the output once again we are going to run the program so first of all we are going to see so this is that the scope which is available that is the current uh, how much will be taken by that the battery see please see this is the positive this is the negative which means this is that the uh, discharging mode battery will be act as a discharging mode this is also will be acting as a charging mode operations in the charging mode operations again the how the current which can be improved from that uh, one at the point of one the current which is increased the radiation where it is uh, increased that the variation please see uh, that the point uh, at the point here we are going to so at point one that is uh, which means the at one time second period the irradiation is increased to 500 watts per meter square to 750 uh, watts per meter square so for that reasons that is the waveform which may going to uh, increase this is the increase that the uh, uh, current of the system so the next uh, uh, waveform uh, we are going to see that the battery so this is the a soc which can be down soc which can be down and then taken as that uh, up which means uh, discharging for the period uh, uh, again after the one value maybe the irradiation value of the pv is increased again that is the we are obtained the suitable value of the energy again we are going to which is uh, uh, charge charge the 
battery. Before increasing the irradiation, the battery is contribute on its energy. After irradiation is increases, the battery is charged uh, from the PV source also. This is the current which is going to in uh, discharge time which is in the positive and the charging we have going to consider as the negative. This is the common terminal voltage. Okay, it's a 300 volt VR plus uh, VR uh, fixed. Okay, so this is the point we have going to consider. Uh, this is the three stator current of the PMSG and the terminal voltage how we are obtained from that the uh, system uh, uh, from uh, from here. So here we are going to obtain uh, the system the three voltage uh, that is the three phase currents and the voltage we are obtained here. Uh, right the next waveform what we are going to see that is that the rotor speed and the electromagnetic torque how we are going to obtain from the uh, PMSG. So during that the specific time period can be changes. So uh, uh, these are all the things so the overall power values of the system how it can be changes from one value to another value obtained from the PV that is the photovoltaic uh, array how. So this is the grid connector system. Please see so at the point of 2.5 we have changed the del angle at the we are going to change the del angle at the point of 2.5 please see so that is at the angle of that the 2.5 uh, uh, yes now uh, that the angle of 2.5 we have changed the angle that is 180 degree opposite that is power flow reverse is occur here so for that reason if the power flow is reverse again we are going to uh, that is the negative around the 15 um, uh, uh, that is uh, uh, how we are going to obtain that is uh, 1500 watts now we are it can be uh, uh, observed that that the 1000 watts so uh, before that it can be delivers the 1500 watts after that it can be observed the 1000 watts so which means the power flow is a reversal here Please see this is the power flow is the reversal again the reactive power compensation will also going to change during that the time. So this is the overall uh, uh, diagram again this is the uh, voltage AC voltage and the AC current which can be incorporated. Now we are going to run the uh, system please wait and see. Now the system is to be ready to start run. Yes, it's compiling. After that, the compiling, uh, we are going to start run the program. So, but it it it, it will take some time. It will take take some time. So now I am going to display for one by one all the waveform. Please rise. Please see the all the waveforms. So one by one, uh, it 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 can be displayed. Okay. Yes. Mostly all the waveforms we have going to get. Okay. So this is that uh, uh, now uh, please see that is the uh, stator current uh, here that is the stator current uh, this is the point which can be taken as the stator current for the PMSG again uh, this is the power uh, from the PV source power from the PV source we are uh, obtained here that is the voltage and the how the current which can be changes again uh, he uh, uh, that is uh, here that is the change of the battery and the power how it can be changes so this is that the grid uh, uh, stage grid stage the which means the what is the voltage and what is the current and what is the internal that is the current both voltage and the current which can be incorporated again the pmsg rotor speed how the rotor speed will be changes at the time of this period 0.5 and other one or 1 1.5 time period if the meters per second wind speed is changes again it will be changes okay so this is that the battery 
soc state of charge at the time of one now the uh, pc uh, uh, that is the pv current and the pv power value will also going to increase pv power this is the load power this is the pv power will also going to increase now uh, if it is increase now the battery before that the battery is charging now it may be going to discharging mode uh, uh, in earlier now it may be going to charge the soc is uh, it discharged to again it will be going to move charges whenever it may be the curve going to cross the zero crossing point it may be going to ready to charging so this is the way this is the the how the grid connected system which can be uh, control all the things uh, uh, that is the is, is it is very important thing uh, please you can verify this is the grid connected system at the point of 2.5 seconds uh, it, it may be going from that negative to positive right please see each and every waveform is uh, uh, here how the system which can be uh, performs how the system which can be performs yes now it may be going to arise charging please see this point which is that uh, uh, that is the wind speed is increases simultaneously that is the pv power will also going to increases if it is any changes is occur again the changes will also going to occur here so at the uh, time of uh, the period 2.5 we are going to fix that the 2.5 during the time of that the 2.5 everything um, uh, is to be uh, changes but we are maintaining the voltage uh, promptly whenever change in uh, wind speed or whenever we are going to change in the irradiation uh, we are maintaining the prom promptly uh, that is uh, 230 into root 2 uh, i think to uh, 399 plus around uh, um, 319 volt or 15 to 19 voltage that voltage we are maintained in constantly please see that that is we are going to maintain the uh, that is the constant voltage there is no doubt about it okay now the simulation which may going to reach please see this point please see this point so whenever the simulation reaches this the 2.5 uh, second uh, yes now the power flow is reverse from negative to positive please see so negative means e e e that the circuit which can be battery system which can be injects the power dc grid which can be injects the power from dc grid to ac grid but here in the positive means that is the dc grid which also going to observe the power from the ac grid uh, to the load so this is the some way so during that uh, time uh, the slight variations is occur here please see so some that is that the current r that is the uh, slight variations uh, that is is occur but the control which can be always uh, is working in a very good manner that is the current will also the oscillating current will also increase that the ac point the overshoot transient is occur and then come to the uh, normal uh, value of the system okay so up to this we are seeing uh, uh, all the waveforms okay all the waveforms once again okay we are going to verify all the things this is the overall diagram okay